Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and Me Air Camping Vlog. This is season five, would you believe? Thank you for being here, especially if you've been with us since season one. There's his head, you can see him here. Anyway, listen, what's going to happen today is we are heading off just for one night, just myself and Charlie. Uh, Deirdre's got... And I just want to hook him for a second. Deirdre's got a little bit of work to do. So myself and Charlie are going to head off. And this is kind of a revisit for tonight. We're heading down to Quans. It's an air in Dungarvan. Now, we were there. I think the video, and I'll put a link to it up here. The video showed me there when we heard it was going to be turned into an air. And then I think it was there literally a day or two before it opened. But it's well and truly opened now. And it's a very popular air. It's about a 30 minute drive from us here in Tipperary. So first of all, I want to tell you this video is sponsored by our friends at Munster GPS. If you remember, again, I'll put a link to the video. Munster GPS gave us a GPS tracker for the B-Baw, for the Hymer and for Deirdre's car. And they're kindly sponsoring this video again. We'll put all of the details here. You can log on if you've got a fleet of cars, just one car, a motorbike. They do personal trackers. Log on to their website and just check out the services that they have available here in Ireland and right across Europe as well. Now, I've got a brand new dash cam. I don't like it because it leaves the number of the dash cam on the screen, which means more editing for me. So hopefully the dash cam will work. We'll have a little bit of video, not a lot of road video, but we will show you as we make our way in. It's a fairly narrow street. So if you've got a big rig and you're heading down towards Quans and Dungarvan, so you can skip the road footage here, but I suggest you watch it and we'll show you the way into Quan. So I got to get this guy back over here. I got to strap him in. Got to get the dash cam on, start all engines and head off down to Quan's and Dungarvan for season five of Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. Hey guys, so we made it to Quans in Dungarvan. It's an air. There's about eight 
pitches here. There is water, no electricity. I had a piece recorded <laughs> and then a chap came over and started chatting to us. We're here, <laughs> we're at Quan's in Dungarvan. I'll take you for a, a walk around now in a second. There's about eight or nine stands. There's fresh water, there's waste water, there's toilet disposal, and it's 10 euro a night, max two nights, which is obviously 20 euro. There's a meter, it'll take cash or your card. There's a little pitch and put course beside us. There's a, a community center, sports center here, Dungarvan Sports Center. Uh, car parking spaces, although there are two cars parked in the motorhome spaces, but hey, hey ho, there's plenty of space here. I'll turn the camera, I'll stick him on a lead and we'll, we'll take a look. And I'm going to get the drone up while it's quiet. There's another motorhome here. I'm going to get the drone up just to show you where we are. Right across the way is a place called the Lookout. There are three free camping spaces over there for motorhomes and it's full. Um, so let me turn the camera, put a lead on this guy, and then I'll get the drone up and we'll do a bit of drone footage while it's quiet. So here's where we are. This is our view for tonight. Just over there in the distance is where the other three motorhomes are. It's called the Lookout. Uh, Dungarvan is just up that way. It's literally a 10 minute walk into town. But look at this. There is a pathway just over there where you can bring the dog for a walk. There are poo bins. There's the Pitch and Put Club. Dungarvan Sports Center. And there are the facilities. You have fresh water, wastewater, toilet disposal. The parking meter is just behind that. It's 10 euro a night. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. There was two cars parked over there for some reason, but they're gone now. Now, during last year, we got a couple of emails through Charlie and me and through the podcast stating from locals that I'm assuming are living pretty close to here saying that this is a great facility, but why do we insist on parking in the car parking space that's when it's full? Please don't do that. If you come to Quan's and the bays are full, feck off, go somewhere else, because it only takes one local to come down here. You're blocking the pathway, and I'll show you how it, it's not the biggest pathway in the world. So you come in here, the spaces are full, camper vans are parking there, some are reversing right up and blocking this pathway, and rightly so for the neighbours to be pissed off. We've got space here. Some were even parking in behind that paling, but they've put barriers up, there's a car park there. Don't do it. Lads, if you go to here, or Portumna, or any place that have given us facilities, and it's full, move on. Because that's what gets us the bad name. And there are no bins here, so take your rubbish with you. There's grey water, black water, and there's fresh water. Now it says it's not drinking water, so maybe you use your tablets or sanitizing tablets in your water, whatever. But this is a great spot. You can walk into town. Um, I'm gonna get the drone up now, and then myself and Charlie are gonna take a walk over towards the lookout where the other camper vans are. And uh, we'll chat to you then in a couple of minutes. Oh, and I will tell you, by the way, tomorrow morning, this video won't end until tomorrow morning, and I'll tell you how we slept tonight. microphone with me so I'm just recording this on my phone we're taking a walk a walk up towards what they call the outlook the lookout the lookout it's just across from where we're staying there's a uh, three or four designated camper spots no facilities whatsoever it's free and uh, I'll be there in a second we'll just show it to you so this is the lookout there's uh, three motorhome spaces and a couple of bus spaces and as you can see it's full with vans as you make your way walking along see all these white pillars Every second or third pillar has paintings on them. 
everything from fish to hedgehogs to butterflies to flowers. There's another one here. And here's the view from the lookout. And we're all just parked over there. So you would have seen from the drone footage, it's a nice spot. And then we took that short walk. I didn't bring the camera with me. It's just on my phone down to the lookout. And now let me turn this camera. We're just out for a walk around the pitch and put course. Sunset is due at about 10 past five in about an hour from now. Uh, we're just parked down there. This is a nice walk. Uh, around the pitch and put course and sunset looks like it's going to be happening over there so we might either stick around for it or come back it's only five minutes from where we parked things to do in Dungarvan loads it's probably a 10 minute walk in from where we are but there's plenty of parking in town if you do want to drive in the greenway starts or ends here which goes all the way to Waterford City or comes from Waterford City there's plenty of bike hire places here. There's just lots to do. There's lots of eateries and drinkeries with, without live music. In fact, the chap that's parked beside me in the motorhome is singing in a pub downtown tonight. And he's rehearsing and practicing on his guitar. Um, it's just, I love Dungarvan. It's just beautiful. And it's one of the first places to kind of embrace us by giving us quans. Now, it's only a, a test but um, I don't know I think it's going to prove successful I read recently that Greg Namana the hub now taking motorhomes has brought in over a hundred thousand euro to the town and surrounds since taking in motorhomes and there's a campsite there but this place Quans is relatively new it's 10 euro a night um, no electricity but water wastewater disposal no bins so take your rubbish with you but it is a nice spot and as i say dungarvan there is a mcdonald's and plenty of other eateries as well um, i think they have a market on a friday today is thursday that we're here i love doing the midweek because it's easier to get into campsites when they open during midweek than it is at the weekends especially this summer with staycation going to be as popular as it was last year I think it's going to be an amazing sunset if uh, it's going to be setting over there beyond, there, beyond yonder those hills. That road, well, you can't see it there, but that is the road to Ardmore. It's the Cork Road, but if you're heading down towards Ardmore and other areas, which we've covered loads of times. So the end of this video will be tomorrow morning when we see how we slept tonight. We'll talk to you later. Take care. So I tried to do one of those like people do in the States on YouTube where, oh, look, the camera's been running all night and I've just woke up, but that's not what we do. So I told you we'd let you know how we got on with our night here at Quans in Dungarvan. Um, first of all, the car park is lit. It's lit all night long. It's only half past seven now. I've got a radio show at eight o'clock this morning, but it's only half past seven now and the car park is still lit. Another van pulled in beside us. So I think there's three vans here last night counting us. Very quiet. We watched a movie last night. I think lights out at 10 o'clock. I woke at three o'clock just to check the time. It was beautiful. It was quiet. It was peaceful. Um, yeah, so we're giving this place the thumbs up. So thank you to our friends at Munster GPS for sponsoring this video. The contact details will come up at the end of the video. Um, it's great to be back out camping again for season five of Charlie Amir Camping Vlog. From me, Aaron, 
from Kid Rock over there, Charlie. Stay safe until we see you again. And don't forget, if you see us on a campsite, please do call over and say hi. And if you want some of our Charlie and Me stickers, our camping crew, the podcast stickers, please do get in touch. Just email us here. Your name, your address, and your postcode. The stickers are free. We get them in the post to as soon as we possibly can. From me, from him. Take care. You coming over here to say goodbye? Yeah, he's going back to sleep. Bye-bye.